Rafael is a government-owned company. We are dealing with defense system in the last 70 years, and we are doing it for the security of the State of Israel and for our allies all over the world. We are already uh, sold to the Peruvian army hundreds of Spike LR for four kilometers and Spike ER for eight kilometers. They are all in service and they are operation here. Based on the huge success of Iron Dome in Israel, that we have hundreds of hundreds of successful interceptions in uh, Israel, we developed a derivative of Iron Dome for naval uh, uh, protections. And it's called SIDOM. The idea is that we are using exactly the same interceptor. We didn't change the missile at all. But we build a system, a naval system, around the same interceptor, which is combat proven, this interceptor. And this is to give a dome of protection to a boat or a fleet of, bo of uh, boats. And the threats today to boats that comes from different uh, threats, it can be rockets, sea skimmer, uh, air launch bombs. Uh, SIDOM is the tool to protect the boats against this, uh, those uh, threats. We have two types of system. One of them is based on Rafael air-to-air -air missile, which is the Python and the Derby. And as we are a leading company for air-to-air -air missile, we migrate this capability to air defense. And it's called the Spider system. And the Spider system, we have a version for short range and medium range. And uh, we are competing here in Peru for an opportunity that hopefully will come true in the next few years. So this is one type of, type of solutions. The other uh, type of solution is the anti-rockets. We are giving our customer both anti-rockets and air defense solution. Both of them pro combat proven, very mature and very low risk uh, systems. DCNS, it's the French shipyard providing all the solutions for the French Navy in naval defense uh, ships. For us, it's very important to be uh, there in CISDEF today uh, because Peru has some uh, project to renew its uh, submarine fleet and surface ship fleet. In DCNS, we have a, a lots of solutions uh, matching with the requisite of our customers. Uh, in uh, the field of submarines, we are offering today the latest uh, version of the Scorpion submarine, which is a conventional propulsion one. Concerning the surface ship, we have uh, three offers today. The, the newest ship, which is the Bellara ship, ordered by the French uh, Navy uh, a few weeks ago. It's a 4,000 ton ships. We have the Gowin 2500, which is a ship sold to the Egyptian Navy, for example. And we have uh, a latest uh, ship, which is the Gowin Mill. So uh, in DCNS, we have really all the solutions matching with the requisite of the Peruvian Navy. <laughs> FNSK has been adopted by the uh, military forces in Peru like a standard assault rifle for all special forces, means from the Navy, from the Air Force and from the Army. First of all, I have to say that we are very happy with the, the, the SCAR because this rifle is working all the time. So in our country the conditions are very difficult and uh, it's not easy to find a very reliable uh, uh, weapon and uh, equipment. So with this rifle we are very comfortable now because uh, our units are able to be deployed in any uh, area of our country. First of all the rifle itself has a foldable buttstock and uh, the buttstock also is adjustable in length and uh, uh, as you can see the 40 millimeter grenade launcher is very easy to operate. Uh, once you open it, the barrel can uh, slide forward and twist to the left or right. This is very good because uh, in our troops we have left-handed, right-handed user and the rifle is fully ambidextrous. So all the commands, selector, uh, magazine release and even the cocking handle is, uh, uh, can be handled from the left or right side. A 
in Peru, uh, we are present with many, many uh, systems. Uh, the, the last systems that we have uh, sold here are the C-27J, uh, the airplanes, that have been playing a big role in the last uh, unfortunate uh, uh, flood that uh, has uh, touched the, 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 the country. The M346 is not only a trainer airplane, uh, it's uh, also a fast attack airplane. It can be used also as a first attack airplane. It has uh, won in uh, many uh, scenarios, I mean in other countries, very important countries like uh, Israel, uh, Singapore and Polonia. And we believe that this um, system, this airplane, can be uh, really a good solution, uh, not only for Peru, but uh, also for the region, for Latin America. SISTEF is important for us. This is our first participation in this exhibition because uh, we would like to create more business in the South American market. As you know, we have plenty of rocket artillery systems already uh, in production more than 20 years. And they, we are co-producing those systems for the uh, export customers' requirement. And as well as unguided systems, uh, recently we have entered those guided versions of those systems into the inventory. Beyond the rocket artillery systems, we have also precision guided missiles for the helicopters, unmanned air vehicles, low speed surveillance aircrafts, and land vehicles as well. Uh, here in this period market, we would like to demonstrate our capabilities, product capabilities, and company capabilities. And the, this is the second day of the exhibition. And we have been visited by a lot of uh, high-level officials from the uh, land forces and from the air force as well. DS Arms is a rifle manufacturer and small arms. We're located in Chicago, Illinois, and USA and uh, we manufacture FAL rifles along with AR-15 M16 systems and we do modernization to the FAL systems and the M4 M16 systems. As so we modernize the old firearms because they're a legacy system like a B-52 bomber aircraft you don't scrap them you modernize them because they're so well proven in the field and the logistics are the same and the training is the same. Well, it is a basic FAL and we have a new side folding stock, fully adjustable for length of pole if you're wearing a backpack or gear uh, and different soldier sides, sizes. And it also has an adjustable cheek piece depending on if you use your iron sights or optics. It also folds to the side to make it compact. Uh, you have a more uh, rail system on the front here that you can attach flashlights or laser designators to that. It's configurable so the end user can configure it themselves. You have a more ergonomic charging handle. It makes the rifle easier to charge an operator. You're faster. You have an ambidextrous magazine release, so you can use it for left or right-handed shooters. Um, upgraded rear sight, upgraded pistol grip. So these are all features that will improve the capability of the soldier. Also, it's lighter. We use an aluminum material for the lower frame. So what you're adding, you're actually subtracting some, some weight using this because you're going to add weight for capabilities. So the idea is to subtract that weight and try to be as light as possible. 